Orion CPU exceeds the M2 Max. Now I've been hearing some rumors that Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite X has completely outperformed the competition. Let's talk. Now these aren't rumors. Qualcomm has performed tests on the Snapdragon Elite X and I've been waiting a while to release this video. And that's mostly because I didn't want a counter argument to come out later. And there hasn't. This is going to change computing for Windows users in 2024. How you might be asking? Let's cut to the chase. When it comes to high performance output and low power consumption, Apple has it figured out. It doesn't matter if you're an Apple hater. Apple has high performance and low power consumption figured out. Because when it comes to Intel and AMD, you do get high performance, but you also get high power consumption. So Qualcomm held a benchmarking event to showcase just how good the Snapdragon performed against companies like Intel and AMD. But let's face it, the real competition was Apple Silicon. Our Orion CPU exceeds the M2 Max. <laughs> Long story short, the Snapdragon blew everybody out of the water. I believe the only chip that it didn't outperform was the new M3 chip. Not that it couldn't or didn't, but they didn't showcase it at the Snapdragon Summit. But even if there wasn't proof that it outperformed the M3 chip, for the Snapdragon to outperform the M2 Max chip before launch is nuts. So this is Apple on a line graph when it comes to performance and battery life. Pretty much, it's pretty stable. And when they were using Intel chips. And then when Apple Silicon was released, it did one of these. That's a pretty big incline. But now Apple's starting to level out at the top over here and only having incremental inclines. But Windows is going from here to slapping Apple in the face. Our Orion CPU exceeds the M2 Max. So what happens now? Where does the Snapdragon go from here? This means that we will be getting new Windows machines with chips tailored to Windows. I'm pretty sure Windows users are tired of Apple Silicon fanboys. Well, Windows will be getting a chip that is more powerful than the most powerful Apple Silicon product and 20 hours of battery life. The longest lasting battery life for a Windows machine that I've seen is a Chromebook, but that's not even Windows. And we don't classify Chromebooks as computers. But when it comes to Intel and high-end laptops, the longest battery I've seen is anywhere from five to eight hours in real time. I've always wanted to see Windows laptops and PCs on the same playing field as Apple products. And it looks like that time has come. So what do Microsoft developers need to do now? They need to get to work. And I mean really get to work on changing how Microsoft software speaks to the new Snapdragon chip. They also need to work with external software companies just to have an ARM version of their software available. But before I end this video, I want to get one thing straight. I am not an Apple fanboy. I'm a Windows user. I prefer Windows over Mac OS. Everything just works when it comes to Windows and the majority of the world uses it. These are just facts. I just use Mac OS because as a tech guy, I need to be familiar with both systems. And when it comes to making YouTube videos, I sometimes record on my phone and the AirDrop works seamlessly with my MacBook. 2024 is going to be insane when it comes to computing and Apple might not be the top dog for long, but we'll just have to wait and see how everything unravels. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And also, if you're watching this, that means that we have finally hit 1,000 subscribers. It is really important to us for you to share this video so the channel can grow. So before you leave, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys next time.